What you guys, today we're taking a look at a mini PC that does everything you need. It's the B-Link SER5 Pro. This is a 5800H Ryzen 5000 series CPU in it. We'll go through the full specs in a sec, but this is everything you're going to get inside the box. You're going to get a mini PC, you're going to get your user manual, your mounting bracket for a monitor or wall. You also have two HDMI cables there, also your power adapter in there as well. So that's everything you're going to get. Let's take a look at some of the ports that you're going to get on this device itself. So on the front of the device, you've got your power button, your headphones or earphones input, your Type-C input here, and two USB 3.2 uh, ports on the front, and that clear CMOS on the front there as well. You've got that mirror black finish on the front there. On the side, we have some ventilation, and on the top, we have ventilation. Moving on round to the back, we have the exhaust area for the graphics card. We have two HDMI inputs here and a DC input. Another two USB ports on here. One's a 2.0 and one is a USB 3.2. And we have our LAN port on here. And we also have that gigabit Ethernet port on here as well. On the other side, we have some more ventilation. And uh, moving on to the top of the device, there is a fan under here for the CPU which is going to keep the CPU nice and cool. And on the bottom, we're going to remove this. And this is where it's going to gain access to a location where we can actually put a SSD in here for more storage, as you can see here. Now, a lot of people think this van is to cool the CPU. This is for cooling the system itself. It's not an actual CPU cooler. The CPU cooler is a lot bigger. So that is for SSD cooling. We can put an SSD in here, which gives us more storage up to two terabytes. Inside here, you can see we've got crucial memory in here. You either get 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. They're running on dual channel. And as you can see, this one is running at 3200 megahertz. The NVMe drive in here is a 500 gigabyte NVMe, either Intel or Kingston, depending on what model you get. But here is the full specs here. As you can see, Ryzen 7 5800H, 4.4 gigahertz, TDP 35 to 55 watts, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, can be put into this device running at 3200 megahertz. Up to two terabytes of NVMe storage you can put into this as well. It does come with 500 gigs, depending on what models you get. SSD storage support. Also, we have that graphics eight cores at 2000 megahertz, triple monitor support, 4K 60 hertz, and Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 also on this device. Let's run some uh, benchmarks here 1700 on a single core and 5591 on the multi-core on Geekbench 6. You can see here the full specs runs with Windows 11 Pro, and we also have on there eight cores, 16 threads for that CPU, which is super duper fast. Let's do a quick uh, GPU benchmark here for Vulkan, and you can see here 12,801 here, which is pretty good for the GPU. So plenty of capability of playing games if you want to play games on it. Uh, the benchmarks for the NVMe drive is 3,070 for reads and also 2,341 uh, for writes. Now, streaming, as you can see here, this is playing 4K resolution streaming. There's a few drop frames to start the video, but once it stabilizes, it's pretty much solid uh, right there. Also, looking at the CPU here, this is the CPU listed here. We also have PCI Express 4.0 on here. And we have that DDR4 RAM in here. This one has 32 gigabytes of memory running at 3200 megahertz, which I've already covered. Again, SPD here. You can see some specifications here. This is just the overall reading here, crucial technology for that memory, which means you're getting all branded parts in this actual build here. On the graphics side of things here, just going to quickly show you these. And then we're going to do a quick benchmark on here to see what the thermals are like, because I want to see whether there's any thermal throttling or whether there's any issues here. And you can see it's super cool. B-Link have got this down to a fine art where they don't have any issues with overheating. So if that's one of your biggest concerns, B-Link have got you covered here with really good temperatures and thermals. Looking at the uh, CPU uh, package power here, you can see 34 watts. And if you want to be precise, it's 34.94 watts uh, max on here, which is pretty good. And again, moving on down to the thermal throttling, we have no thermal throttling running this CPU benchmark here. And this is another big problem I've seen with more cheaper brands, which are, you know, basically running into thermal issues 
and you're not going to get that with a B-Link ones. They're some of the best ones on the market, to be honest. Let's run Cinebench. Now, I've run this test before on other mini PCs, and it pretty much thermal throttles, and you end up with high temperatures. But B-Link, I've had no issues with B-Link mini PCs. Let's take a look at the score, 8,846. Pretty pr impressive for a mini PC. Now, if you want to play retro games, it will play these all day long. You can play all sorts of retro games on this device at pretty high uh, you know, resolutions. And also, you can upscale it as well to make it much more better graphics and better looking. So this is on four times, and it can handle this no problem at all. So depending on what you're trying to play, if you're trying to play games like Dirt 4 or PUBG or CSGO at 1080p, it should handle those no problems at all. And you should get pretty good frame rates. But just bear in mind that this is a mini PC. And if you start trying to push it like Cyberpunk and uh, Destiny and games like that, that which are going to be more taxing on the GPU and for the CPU, this mini PC is only going to be able to handle those at 720p and uh, at really low settings. So that's why I don't ever show uh, major games like AAA listed games like that, because you have to come down to 720p. And I think it's a bit misleading to people that might want to buy a mini PC for gaming. So I try to stick to retro games because I know it can handle these no problem at all. And if you want to play the odd uh, game like Dirt 4 and things like that, it will play those games. Forza 5, it can handle games like that as well at 1080p. You should have no issues with that at all. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quick review. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you are looking for a mini PC, I'll also leave some links in the video description. I shall catch you in the very next video. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.